Hi guys, Jim here from Dr. Tankenstein. We're gonna have a, a challenge day today. So a couple of brew challenges have been suggested to me. Uh, so we've got a couple of these in, in a hat at the moment. Uh, we're gonna see what I get now. So if I could, very dramatic. Okay, all grain brew for a tenner. All right, it doesn't seem very challenging. Uh, you know, a couple of you know, bag of grain, some some hops. Uh, okay. In this challenge, you will discard all of your brewing equipment and ingredients. Okay. All right. So starting from scratch, you must create an all grain beer for less than ten pounds. All right. Okay. So a tenner, a tenner is actually a decent beer, uh, but if uh all right so i can't use i can't use my hot liquor tank can't use my mash tun uh i can't like a big my big pans or okay i can't use my my brew pans a bit my big uh my brew bags uh can, can i use a ferment my fem all right <laughs> Right. So I can't use the fermenter either. Uh, all right, that's actually a good. That's actually a good one. Uh, all right, ten pounds. Okay, well, there's a few things I can't do without anyway: grain, hops, yeast. Let's go get them and see what I'm left with. Okay, I was expecting worse. A couple of pennies left in the uh, in the bank there. I managed to save myself a quid by getting uh, pellet hops instead of flowers. And of course, I saved myself 5p on the bag as well. So, let's head to the supermarket. Let's see what I can get in terms of equipment. Uh, might be interesting. Might be an interesting one. We've been running around all day, been getting our stuff together, spending, planning, thrifting. We're finally back in the kitchen. Everything's in place. We're ready to brew. Before we go on, a bit of a disclaimer. If you're a veteran brewer or anybody who's ever seen anybody brew any beer and you're watching this expecting perfection, please don't. It's 10 pound brew day. It, it, we're gonna do our best, but it will likely not be amazing, okay? Now that's out of the way. I need to say straight up front that we did it. We got everything we need to brew a batch of beer from grain to fermenter all in for nine pounds and 89 pence. We did it. So let's recap the rules. Obviously, brew a batch of beer for under 10 pounds. In doing so, I'm not allowed to use any brewing equipment. Simple. So what was I allowed to use? Basically anything I could find in my kitchen. So this is hopefully stuff that either you've got in your kitchen at home or your neighbor's got or your granny's got that you can borrow without uh, spending any money on it. Okay. So that being said, where did my money go? If I'm using stuff out of the kitchen, what did I spend on? Well, there are a few things that I obviously couldn't skip out, scrimp, or invent, be inventive with, and that's grain, hops, yeast. I needed those three things. So for the grain, I got a kilogram of Marisotta. If I bring a gallon with this, it'll come out with a starting gravity of about uh, 1.050. That's good. It's two pounds 80, bargain. Second thing I needed was hops. Now, this was actually a really good 
price. I expected this to be much more expensive than it was. I got 100 grams of Fuggles pellet hops for £3.99. If you've ever brewed before, you'll know that 100 grams is a massive amount of hops. I'm not going to use all that today. I likely use a fifth of it, but rules as rules, I counted the £3.99 anyway. The rest will go in the cupboard. Now, I looked at getting a fermenter, you know, something to put my beer in, allow it to ferment and age nicely, but that was just too expensive. It wasn't going to happen. So instead, I got this. Five litres of English natural still spring water. I'll use that to brew with and I'll use it to put my beer in when it's done to ferment. One pound ten. Right now, this is where it gets a little bit sketchy. I thought, okay, I've got way too many hops, but I've scrimped on the fermenter. I'll be able to get myself a nice airlock at least. Make sure everything's nice and tight in there during the fermentation. I looked at it, I priced it up. A rubber bung and a plastic bubbler came in at £1.25. It's great, right? Unfortunately, the budget just didn't allow for that. So, to save a measly 25 pence and stay in budget, I'm gonna be using these. Now, you probably recognize these as your standard party balloon, and that's exactly what it is. My hope is, if I can put a little hole in this, fit it over the top of the bottle, which I don't know if it's gonna fit yet, then that'll keep the baddies out and let the carbon dioxide out at the same time. Right, let's make some beer. We've been mashing for about an hour now, and this is, uh, this is the fullest mash I've ever seen, I think. But I've managed to cram a kilogram of grain and three liters of water into what, and it's just a regular pan, so it can be done. And you know what, it's quite an, a nice loose mash actually. I think, I think this will be, this, this'll, this'll work out. But one of the things I wasn't allowed to use from my brewing supplies was a thermometer and the budget didn't allow for one either. So to get my mash temperature about right, I, I kind of assumed that the water coming out of my Ashbeck spring mineral water bottle was about 20 degrees. And I know that boiling water is 100 degrees. So I did some maths and I kind of figured that if I mixed a two to one ratio, it, it'll get me to 65, 70. I just doed in at that and assumed that it was right. As a thermometers aren't expensive. So unless you're on a budget, just buy one. Right, so I'm gonna give this a quick blast of heat now just to mash out, get things moving, get things sloshing around. And then I'm gonna have to louter sparge with this. Wish me luck. I've had to sparge um, water into two pans here just because just of the size of the equipment I've got available. Uh, that, that's, I think that's the main issue I've run into here, to be honest, is just, just the volume of stuff compared to standard kitchen size equipment. I mean, that, that sieve was, was struggling, but, but we're onwards, it's working. Now, I've just got two additions of Fuggles to do, one now, one at the end, so I'll do that now. This week, Dr. Tankenstein is brought to you by Ashbeck Fermenters. Obviously not, but if you're going camping, get some Ashbeck water. It was all right. Uh, we're in. The beer's in. It's uh, certainly coloured. It's it's uh, ah, it, it's a weird colour. Let's let's be brutally honest. But we're in. We've pitched. I'm about to put the final piece of the puzzle on, and that's my. Uh, my balloon, my, my airlock, my inventive 100% foolproof airlock that's soaking in hot water just to uh, loosen the rubber up a little bit. This may take a while. Oh, it's been a while since I've had this problem. And there you go, we're on. So as you can see, this kind of folds down in on itself. Uh, I previously put the holes in the top, so if that does fill up with carbon dioxide, it'll it'll release slowly enough uh, so as it doesn't just fly off. 
hopefully. So there we are. I mean, the beer's in there, uh, but should we have bothered? I think so. I think so. I mean, it's a weird colour. It's in a weird bottle, but it's beer. It's going to be beer one day. Uh, if I had any kind of rundown, any sort of regrets, final thoughts, as it were, I'd say if you're going to do this, if you are going to make beer for a tenner, first off, don't. Secondly, get the biggest equipment you can because the thing that's been the real pain in this is just small pans, small sieves. So these are, find a friend that's made jam before. They'll probably have a big enough pan and they'll probably have a thermometer as well. Secondly, don't use wine yeast because if you keep in count earlier on, the grain, the hops, the, the foolproof fermenter and airlock cost £8.89, which left us with a pound to buy yeast with. And unfortunately, all I could, all I could buy was wine yeast. So that's in there. It might make beer. I think to be honest, I think we owe you a tasting video on this one. So, you know, maybe, maybe we'll re review it at a later date. But £10, all grain, all in. So there you go, one gallon of beer brewed from grain to fermenter for under 10 pounds. So it can be done. Now the, the point of this is not so that you go out and spend 10 pounds on a gallon of beer. The point is to show you that if you're either getting started in brewing or you wanna make the switch from kit to all grain, you don't need a massive investment. You don't need to go out there and spend hundreds of pounds on a, a really fancy one pot system or a three pot system or whatever. So even if you had maybe five pounds more, you could get yourself a, a thermometer, uh, some no rinse sanitizer, uh, a brew bag or something, just to, so you don't have to be as inventive as we had to be with the equipment. So if you like this video, if you're gonna give it a try yourself, let us know. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more brew how-tos, experiments and challenges. Follow us on Twitter at Dr. Tankenstein and subscribe to the blog at drtankenstein.com as well. Thanks.